same rules apply here that uh, it's all about where the black is sort of similar position at the other end of the table to the red that Ford missed should he lose this frame Five. Tom Ford it'll hurt him I think seven be Ten. interesting to see how he goes about it of course it will depend on the angle that he has on the pink and he's still got to pop the balls leading up to the pink to get onto the black but that last decision 14. It's one of those where I don't think he'll play to move it. I think he'd like to just play him behind it. 19. And uh, the fact that he's so good left handed, it could be a left handed shot. Well, he played it like that to get on it. 25. Into the opposite corner. That was all about touch. So, this is a steal. For 3 0. <laughs> Not much room to manoeuvre now for Ford already. 3 0 down in a race to five. This has got to go. Well, well cued, well played. One. Eight. Thank okay, you. Well, this is slow down. Well, Nine. that'll do the nudge, but he didn't want to play the kiss. He played slower to land him behind the black directly. 16. 17. He's looking for his seventh semi final appearance in a ranking tournament. And if he is to achieve it, it will be one of his finest victories to date, Point if four. not the finest, given the way O'Sullivan's played so far this evening. Well, this is another mid-range tester when you've had a bit of a grilling. Yeah, and we'll key it again. 33. 40. 41. He's on red black, so you know, for now I think the frame will always need more 40. than anything else. Point out that he has made a number of 147 breaks, 49. five in his career is quite a tally, isn't it? I mean, it does underline what a good player is around the black spot. Lovely touch player and break builder. But I don't think right now that's the head of his priorities in this frame, although he keeps 56. taking reds and blacks, it might become one. 57. Point. You've got to get to 73 on reds and blacks, and then you can concentrate on something special. I think that he feels it's a plant, those two reds. 64. Oh, they're dead on. The problem is you play the run through there, and you, you know you've got to hit the, the red you played into again on the way through, so you're never sure. I don't know if he can just play the little soft screw onto the red by the pink. I think he's a little thin for that. He'd love to play that shot, but take a good touch to do it. Just to go around the angles. No. To say the least, that is quite annoying, that nudge. 75 left, so... He needs one more red, doesn't he? Does he play on the black from it is the question. That's a dilemma, because Sullivan's likely to mop these up. You know, he'd like to plant the black, but really, 
it uh, makes the shot even more difficult in a way. So, no, one four seven. No, one four seven, but more concerning than one four. Try not yet one. Sullivan's going to take high one. value colours here. If you can get on the black, if not the pink, you can take a couple more. But generally speaking, it's got to be something big with every red that he takes. I like it. You can afford to take the pink twice. And all the rest blacks, of course. No reason why you shouldn't be able to play on the black where the reds are. They're all so low on the Seven. table. Nothing's up up the table. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. Eight. Just the potting of the balls is the issue, not the colours in which he takes with them. I mean, it's a long way off, but this would be, uh, well, the icing on the cake, really, 15. wouldn't it, for, for Tom Ford, if you like, to lose this frame. Goodness me. But there's a lot of work to be done to make that happen yet. 16. That's why O'Sullivan's so good. He knew that he could play that cannon. And if anything went wrong, Point the other seven. red on the left is still there anyway. So he reads the game so beautifully. Didn't have to, a lot of players would have played that at the last opportunity. He knew there was value in playing it a little early. Point four. Keep looking at the scores, but you can afford to take the pink and the black. Well, of course, two blacks even better, but nothing lower value is any use. 31. 32. So I actually think he might not play to cannon it. That's his, he can either play the cannon or to play him behind it. But it yeah, I think he played him behind it because he knew if he gets this red, it'll be on the black. The cannon might have let him to take a lower value colour. Well, here comes the money shot in this frame. If this goes right, Tom Ford will have reason to be extremely concerned. This really would be the nail in the coffin, wouldn't it? Well, it would. I'm thinking that even blue to pink is not simple, given that the blue is into Point a narrow seven. pocket opening. He thinks the frame's gone already, probably. If the blue is on Point its spot, nine. I think the frame's definitely over. I just feel that there's a squeak for Tom Ford here. And this clearance won't be made. Only a squeak, mind. 52. That's not perfect, I don't think. Have to run it off the cushion and be quite close to the blue to play it in the middle, if he can. Two or three minutes ago, he was a ball away from winning the frame and entertaining thoughts of a maximum break. Now, he's on the cusp of going 4-0 behind. <laughs> Is there going to be a twist? Uh, I'm not sure he played on it into the bottom left. He played it with right-hand check. But he won't mind that. He's not actually too bad where he's finished. Still a tough shot. I kind of knew it was on the cards. But it's a tough old game and he's making it look easy still, isn't it? It's extraordinary how this night's going. from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, of course, O'Sullivan didn't mind moving the red because he'll need it anyway. It's not only that uh, Tom Ford needs it. No, 
Now, that's a brilliant pop. One. With an odd frame, maybe there is a way back into it for Tom Ford. Still not the most straightforward clearance. I assume the green will pass the Seven. ground. It looks as if it's just beyond it anyway from here. The next colour to yellow to green is the is what this frame Eight. is all about. If you finish it straight on the yellow, it might not be able to do it. Clearly the green flies past it. Now we've seen it from that angle. Doesn't want to be straight here. Fifteen. Well, that's a very fine shot. Well, it was a great red. Seventeen. And credit to Ford for continuing to plug away. Twenty. Looks as though this frame was getting away from him as well with the way things were going, but he's come up with 24. a moment of inspiration. Give himself the chance to extend this match by at least one more frame. Twenty-nine. So just the pink for four-one. Thirty-five. Very scrappy frame. Very much at odds with the previous four, which has Sullivan, of course, won. But Tom Ford belatedly is on the board. You've got to think it's probably too little too late, but you never know. In the last couple of decades, the world champion for that year has not always been the prolific winner for the year. Another mistake from Ford. Someone that goes into it with a bit more freshness than perhaps a serial winner for that season. Anyway, Sullivan with an opportunity here. Thing he's looking for the reds have opened, but the next red has got to be given some extra consideration here. Well, yes, yeah, this could be it. He's not that far in front yet, but really, the previous split is able to reap the rewards of it now that uh, he's kind of the long red that followed. Looks like. The beginning Point of the end, in fact, some way past the beginning of the end. It's been a disappointing night, Point clearly, two. for Tom Ford, but he's been mightily impressive. Ford's had a great week. The win over Higgins was mightily impressive. Thirty. Perhaps even at this stage of his stellar career, finding ways to solve an extra edge out there. You know, alluded to the fact that he's looking to undo 46. things that perhaps he feels could be done better and reinvent them. Clearly, he still has hunger for yet more success, having broken virtually every record in the book. It's hard to see 52. anyone stopping him. There's still plenty of good players in, of course. Next up, either Liang Wenbo. Have another final. And he started quite brilliantly. 136 60. total clearance, set the tone. 90 in the second frame. 50. And that really effectively killed the match as a contest just before the 67. interval forward to his credit didn't allow his head to drop he's battled away managed to win a frame but 68 it was always going to be too big an ask to turn the match around and so ronnie o'sullivan marches on already a titleist this season 74 players championship world grand prix i should say 75 
uh, feel about them not since the mid-session interview. He's <laughs> 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 vigour about his game this week. Rigo <laughs> <laughs> up over McGill, who's called McGill, been here in the World Championship. It's seven. Sullivan looks to be playing with a lot of freedom, and that's a very dangerous man to be up against. With. 91. A seventh century <laughs> of the week. I'd enjoyed it. Respond in kind. O'Sullivan through to ranking semi final number 87. He defeats Tom Ford in style by five frames to one. <laughs>